Welcome everybody. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. We're going to talk about a stock that I first talked about on my Patreon channel. If you want to become a member of the channel, you can join us on Patreon. Links will be in the comment section below. But uh, yeah, check out this video because I think this is a stunning way to start the, two th the year 2022 with a stock that can pretty much almost guarantee us profits. Big profits, huge profits. This is a stunning company. It is profitable. And there's two things that can happen to this company. Only two things. Either way, whichever direction it takes out of those two directions, it's going to make us profit. That's just my personal opinion. But do check out the whole video and make your own decision after that. Also, do your own due diligence. But this is going to be interesting. I promise you. Watch the whole video. The stock is at $22.26. It reached an all-time high of $38, which was right here back in June 14th. 2021 so 38 bucks ever since then it started slightly sliding downwards and there's kind of a key some key reasons why but it really has nothing to do with the company's performance the company is racking in more revenue than the year before and the year before is growing and everything and it's profitable so why does it go down we'll get to it real quick let me skip to i'm not going to here on this slide if you want to pause it explains what this company is about i'll skip it for now and uh, let's go to what's going on all right so there's a fund right and it's called donorel group basically in a nutshell this fund came in when came back it came in august towards the end of august and told turtle beach that i want to acquire you right the fund already has 7.4 percent stake in turtle beach but they want to acquire the company right and they offered back then towards the end of august Going into September, they offered $36 and let me see how much it was, 36, $36.50. So they offered $36.50 and they said $36.50 per share. And the company was just fresh off from its $38 all-time high in June. Well, the board said, no, you can forget about it. We're not selling at $36.50 and rightfully so. Like I said, this is a profitable company that can only have more of a brighter future ahead of it than uh, or as of what it's been doing so far. Um, for me, this is a stock I want to hold for the long term. This is an amazing company. So, anyways, so they come back. So they come back after towards the towards October, and they come and say, you know what? You didn't want the thirty six fifty. We'll give you thirty two thirty two dollars and eighty six cents. Well, at that time, the CFO of the company sold all of his shares. Uh, and that was in mid November. Donnerell Group highlighted that he had. It's unclear what price the board of Turtle Beach really wants to sell. The thing is, though, the board says, basically, it says this thing. They're trying to buy us out at a ridiculously low price. We were just, we were on our high of $38 in June. Why should we sell the company per share at less than 38 And they're right. And why did it go under 38 Well, there was a sell-off, a broad sell-off in gaming companies after June 14th. It's not the Turtle Beach as a stock was the one of and only and it was on its own that it was falling it was a broad sell-off in the gaming company mario stefanidis who is the vice president of round hill investments and closely tracks probably as best as anyone out there the whole gaming industry because he's in charge of the metaverse exchange trade fund and we had an interview with mario stefanidis on our channel before uh he said this donnero group an equity and event driven hedge fund based out of california currently holds 7.4 percent beneficial ownership of turtle beach this is the third offer from the fund to buy out the company the first two were in august or 34.50 rejected by the board and 36.50 again rejected by the board both of which were rejected by the board. Since the latest rejection, rejection on August 23rd of the higher bid, the stock has fallen nearly 10%. So they first came out with 34.50, right? So they first offered 34.50, they got rejected, and then they come back with a higher offer of 36. Now think about this. If Donnerell Group wants to buy out this company, why would they offer $36.50 to buy this stock, to buy this company, if they thought or believe that this company is worth a lot less than that, well, they know that, you know what, when you want to buy something, you want to buy it at a bargain price so you can make profit later. When Donnerell Group wants thirty-six fifty to give you per share, that means they believe this stock is going to go way, way higher, and it will. I also believe that too. I've been believing it. I talked about this company back when, long ago on Patreon. So since the latest rejection on August 23rd of the higher bid, the stock has fallen nearly 10%. 
which reflected in the $32.86 uh, revised third offer from the fund. Management has likely rebuffed all of the offers thus far as the stock is still trading below the $38. What does that mean? That means management wants something higher. They want something higher than $38. Management says, you know, we had reached an all-time high of $38 before there was a broad sell-off in the gaming companies. We don't, we're not going to give it under 38 You can forget about it. You're going to give us 40 or 50 bucks a share. That's what the board says. So if we look at the financials of the company, in, in, a, in just a brief, the company trades at an EV to sales multiple of 0 0.9 and an EV to a beta of 8.5 times using trailing 12-month figures. Given the company's growth and consistent profitability since 2016, I think you'd be pretty dumb to as a board to say yeah okay here we'll take we'll accept a 32 34 36 dollar per share offer no that's dumb the board wants a 40 to 50 dollar range the stock right now is trading at let me get to the stock it's trading at 22 right i talked about the stock long ago on patreon now there's two things either the company gets acquired or it does not get acquired if it does not get acquired then as a shareholder i remain in the company i want to keep holding because i believe in the long term of this company which is a stunning company and i believe that it's going to reach a 40 to 50 dollar range at some point so why would i want to sell i'm not selling i don't care i'm not selling in any way shape or form if the company is acquired it's going to get acquired by what the board wants and the right to ask more than 38 and they're going to get acquired at 40 or 50. Well, if they get acquired at 40 or 50 and I'm holding from 22, well, then I made a lot of money again. Either way, I believe that this is a great stock, personally speaking, for me, that is guaranteed money. Whether it's in the long term or in the short term through an acquisition. That's just my belief. I really, really believe in this stock. Stunning great way for me to start my year in 2022. Well, I already started on my year on this company since 2021, but... Um, for those of you who might not know about this, I'm not telling you to buy it, but do your due diligence and check it out. Thank you very much for watching this video. I wish you a great start in 2022. Take care. All right, as we can see, Turtle Beach has headsets for all kinds of consoles, simulation, controllers, neat microphones, parts and accessories, and gear. Basically, a lot of things that I think are just going to be needed more and more. People are really into gaming, metaverse, I think higher than ever. The gaming industry is just re breaking records every year. And let's not forget that this stock is profitable, right? This company is profitable since 2016. has already re returned to its shareholders in the past five years total. Over 350% return to its shareholders. Whoever has been holding for five years has been making a lot of money off this company.